I've got my pivoting window scene created. I have the objects and I have the objects animated. And I want to create something that will initiate the, this behavior um, in the pro project itself. And I do that with the scripter. So let me unpin the animator and open the scripter. So what I do is I create a script. And down at the bottom here, I can say add new script. And I'll call it window open slash close. Uh, because I can, when I create animations, I can play them forward or back. Uh, I'm going to create it under the one name of window open or close. And then I'll decide what I'm actually doing with it. If I select the, the, the name of the script, window open close, I can apply a condition. And those conditions can be things like uh, when when an animation starts or after a certain period of time. The one I'm interested in here is on key press. And what I'm going to do is on key press, I'm going to say when I hit O, oops, sorry, just want the letter O. Um, Press the key. I'm just pressing O. Why am I getting D O? Oh, there it goes. Weird. And so when I press the letter O, I want to initialize the action that is one. Right. So the condition is on key press O. And make sure that says uh, that. So when I when I push it down. I want something to happen. Down here, what is it that I want to happen? I can say play an animation. I can say stop the animation. Show me a particular viewpoint. I'm going to say place the animation. Play the animation. And what animations do I have in my project? So I've got one called pivot window. And underneath it, I've got this window four feet to show me the objects. Uh, the checkbox is that it should stop at the end. And then I've got begin at the beginning, the start of the animation, and end at the end of the animation. So if, with that in place, I'm actually ready to test my animation. 